This time, I'm going to convert these four numbers into the twos complement format. As before, I'm going to limit myself to 16 bits because any more bits that I add would just be the same as my leftmost bits of these numbers anyway. So they're not really interesting bits. My first number is 11 in decimal. So I want to convert that to binary. And 11 in decimal is 8 plus 2 plus 1. This is a positive number. So I'm going to start by writing down my number in 16 bits. I have a number of zeros on the left-hand side for padding. And since I'm looking at positive 11, I'm done. This is positive 11 in the two's complement format. The next number I've got is negative 18. So negative 18 is 16 plus 2. So there's negative 18 in binary. And I'll start by writing my magnitude in 16 bits. I'll have 15 leading zeros this time, followed by my actual number. But this time I want a negative number. So I'm going to take positive 18 and I'm going to apply the two's complement operation to it. Two's complement operation says invert all the bits, then add 1. So I will flip all of these bits. And now I'm going to add 1 to this. So there is negative 18 in 2's complement. My third number is 29. So 29 is 16 plus 13. And this is a positive number. I'll start by writing out my number with 16 bits. and adding my magnitude. Now, since 29 is a positive number, I'm done. That's 29 in 2's complement. My last number is negative 23. It's a negative number. 23 is 16 plus 7. So there's negative 23 in binary. Again, I'll start by writing 23 with 16 bits. But since I want a negative number, I'm going to apply the two's complement operation to this number. And that will give me the complement of 23. So I've flipped all of the bits, and now I, will, now I will add 1 to it. So there is negative 23 in 2's complement. 